This is amazing. Is there any way to create embeddings using ChatGPT API? What is embeddings? How it's related to AI? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you about embeddings and how it's linked to AI. Not only that, I'm going to take you through step by step on how to use ChatGPT API in regards to embedding. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence in my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and stay tuned. So what is embedding? It is a process by which you convert text to vectors. Vectors are nothing but numbers to represent those words. It is used for dimensionality reduction. That means it simplifies the complex text data into numerical numbers. As you can see, man is represented by numbers. Women is represented by numbers. King is represented by numbers. And also it creates relationship between words. As you can see in the image, man, woman, king, queen related together. So for a beginner, embeddings are nothing but a language for a machine learning model. Now how it's linked to the overall AI and also large language models. Let's take an example as ChatGPT large language model. If you don't have embeddings, ChatGPT has its own brain, which is limited. So when a user asks question without an embedding, it can answer only limited number of questions. But when you add embeddings as a second brain, you can upload unlimited data. So when a user asks a question, the first step, the program checks if there is any information related to those questions in the embeddings or the second brain. If there are similar words, that will be passed to ChatGPT. So ChatGPT can use information from the second brain and also its own brain to answer the question to make it much more accurate. Now we're going to see how to create embeddings and save those embeddings. In this tutorial, we're going to use ChatGPT to create embeddings. So first step, conda create hyphen n chat GPT, Python equals 3.11, and then conda activate chat GPT to activate the virtual environment. Next, export your OpenAI API key like this and click enter. Now we're gonna install OpenAI and pandas using pip install and click enter. Now we're gonna create a file, embedding.py. Inside the file, import pandas as pd, then from OpenAI, import OpenAI. Then we are initializing OpenAI client client equals open AI. Then we are providing an example text that is hello world. And then we are going to create embeddings. Client.embeddings.create function will create the embedding. So as an input, we are passing the text that is hello world. Next, we are providing the model name that is text embedding ADA002. And then we are extracting the embedding. Finally, we are printing the embeddings. Now I'm going to run this code. Python embedding.py and click enter. So you can see the embedding, the hello world converted into vector numbers as you can see in the screen. This is called an embedding. Now we're going to convert this into a function. I'm going to define embeddings. So it's the same function we are using client.embeddings.create. So when the text is passed, it will automatically return the embedding. Now we're going to print that get embedding hello world. It's going to print the same results. I'm going to go to the terminal again, python embedding.py and click enter. It will print you the same result. We just move this line inside a function. That's it to make our work easy. Now the next step is that we have a CSV file with product ID, user ID, score, summary, and text. These are Amazon reviews from thousand products. Now we are going to feed this data into the second brain. That means we are going to convert this data into embeddings and store it in a CSV file. As you can see, I've got the CSV file in the same folder as my embedding.py file. Now we are going to use pandas to read the file. Pandas is nothing but a CSV file or an Excel sheet for developers or data scientists. So df equals pd.read CSV and the CSV file name. Then we are combining the summary and the text together and saving it in a column called combined. This will automatically create a column called combined and merge the summary column and the text column together and put it in the combined column. We are going to use only this combined column to convert to embeddings because those are the important data which we want to use. And next, we are creating an embedding column. In that embedding column, we are going to save all the embeddings. So df.combined is the data which we are going to convert to embedding. So we are passing that to the get embedding function. This will automatically convert every single row in the CSV file to an embedding. And finally, we are saving the embedding in a CSV file. Now I'm going to run this code. 
in your terminal python embedding.py and click enter. Now the embeddings are getting generated in the background and it's getting stored in the CSV file. Now the embeddings got created in the find food reviews with embeddings file. That's it, as simple as that. As a quick summary, we collected all the data which we need to convert to embeddings in a column named combined. Then we passed that data inside the get embedding function and that function will convert those text into embeddings. I'm going to create more videos regarding this and also the whole embedding workflow or rag, which I will link that in the description below. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.